Now that's end of the term, I'm feeling a little tired if you can't see, but it's probably the best tired that I've been in a long time. Like I feel like I've earned being tired because I've worked hard and I've had a great time doing it. But I'm a little sad. I'm sad that it's coming to a close. Being with Tom and all the other students, it really sparked that creativity for me to go back home and actually just like go for it and just keep it on, like keep doing creature concepts and like pursuing that because I don't do it often. So it's a, an exciting yet really challenging thing to do to get outside the box and then constantly like force yourself to. After Tom's class, I'm probably gonna study up on animals and like try to learn their anatomy and then kind of create my cool hybrids or take creature concepts that we had rough drafts of and finish them maybe. And then um, just keep working on until like that cool point where it's, that's a finished piece of a cool creature that only you created. So that's my plan. Probably takes my favorite ones and uh, work on them some. Like I said before in other videos, it's the homey vibe where you feel like you're with like your people because you're all artists and you're bonding and you're like, growing and just it's a great time. Every Thursday we're all like tired and we just like take a story or something like just make silly things happen, like just go and make it go off into like some weird crazy story that no one knows what's going on, but it's just those artist brains are just attacking each other and it's just like, ugh, <laughs> it's the best. When I fly back home, I can take how y'all do things here and easily incorporate it to my life. Like, I right, this is how you study right. Instead of like just drawing every now and then, you know, sketchbook drawing or like not really focusing on anatomy or like studying the right things. So it's taught me how to study correct and to draw how you should be drawn to progress farther. Focusing your time on the things that matter. So like, I'm struggling with heads. I don't know how to draw heads and study the head, but don't forget about the rest, but like study the structure of the head, how like the face works, the bones, the skull, like studying the fact like you can almost draw without thinking about it. Definitely changed the way I see it. I'm like, oh, it's not just like as people think, oh, that's easy. You can just draw good <laughs> and you'll get there. No, that's the, one of the harder things to do, I would say, is to get to that point of people liking your stuff. When you're back home, it's easily to get distracted. Like, it's the like games, phone, people, plans, work. And you're just like, oh, I'll draw tomorrow. Eh, I'll draw an hour, you know, today. And then like, eh, and you just keep putting it off because there's so much going on. Where coming here, I more discipline myself. We're like, all right, art comes here. I'm gonna draw more, do this, and then make time. Like it's make my work ethic even more structured and like, got this. And then it's, so I'm gonna go back and then focus more on art and make time for the other things in a healthy way. Like make everything balanced, I would say. And that's definitely helped here, how to balance my art by talking to the teachers, their advice, Jeff, and all the good questions, like how do you balance life and art? So it's definitely been a instructive and supportive thing for me. I would say for students to come here, work hard, um, have fun. Most importantly, have fun if you're surrounded by art here. I mean, if you don't like art, then this is not the place for you. But if you are here, have a great time doing it. Realize that not every drawing is going to be great. There's going to be good and bad days, but you have to learn from each drawing that you create because there's something to learn with everything you put down the pencil. So it's to sit there, focus, don't lose track of what you're doing, and have fun doing it. And that's probably the biggest advice I could probably give is enjoy yourself and work hard. <laughs> I can't wait to be back. I hope everyone has a great time here. I'll miss everybody. Continue to work hard until Pud comes back. <laughs> Pud is myself <laughs> in third person, but that's fine. <laughs>